Hello everybody, let me flip this round. How are we doing? Um, I don't know if I'm a bit early or a bit late, but uh, I thought I'd have got more done this morning, and I didn't think I'd be actually still feeding round at this time. But I am, so here we are. I'm just um, putting out now some fodder bait. And he's been in this morning, bless him. He's strolled round with me, giving me a hand. Morning, James. Morning, Will. What have we got on here? Morning, Oliver. Thanks for joining me. Um, oh, the sun is bright this morning. Really bright. Morning, Darren. Morning, Alex. How we doing? Did the uh, people jumped on because of the morning, Matthew? Morning, phase. I love your energy to farming, mate. Oh, I love farming, mate. It's fucking brilliant, isn't it? Um, we gotta fetch, we gotta fetch some energy to farming, haven't we? Because there's a lot of doom and gloom in it and that. Oh, your name's Jake. <laughs> Oh, it's it. Uh, apologies if I forget that for uh, Jake, aka Faze. Um, yeah, we need to bring some energy to farming, don't we? Because, um, yeah, some people just bring it down all the time, don't we? And uh, it needs to be done. It's a fun industry to work in. Um, but like any other industry, you get some people who are a bit grumpy and a bit moody. But farmers seem to be tarnished with that brush all the time, it seems, doesn't it? A grumpy farmer. Um, but yeah, so I'm just feeding out. Got a bit dark in here. Um, I don't know if you can hear, but the feeding out with the feeder bucket, you see. Let me flick this round. So I'm feeding out the fodder bee. That's it, you need, need, need young people to be inspired, especially in trend industries like dairy who are really uh, struggling to find young people at the minute. Uh, I think it's the hours really that puts a lot of young people off. So, right, there we go, you're gonna get the, you get the idea. You get the idea of what I'm doing. I'm hoping that Mick or Ash might come a bit later. Uh, my mum said that uh, she spoke to Mick and supposedly he's coming, which would be nice. M's off, she's um, probably in pub now, something like that. Ah, Emily's on here, look. Unless it's another Emily Johnson. <laughs> I bet that looked great, didn't it? Me zooming into my phone, trying to read these things. Um, yeah, my dad's gone out and uh, gone to get some cows. And I think for the rest of the day, I'm pretty much going to be on my billy -o. Unless, like I say, unless Mick and, uh, Mick and Ash turn up, which would be nice. Just need to, need to try and keep the pace. <laughs> uh, 12 hours. Yeah, I'm there for about 12 hours. Uh, half five to up. Yeah, that's it. It's, uh, the long hours, aren't they? It's me, Emily says. <laughs> hey, up, Em. Did, did you have a nice time at Durham Valley Farm last night? Um. Yeah, so. We are. Like I said, just feeding this, feeding this beet round here. Then I've got, I was gonna have to put the straw out, but um, Andy's already done it for me. So he's like, he's destroying all my jobs. Like I've got all these little jobs planned. And uh, he's done it in the two hours that uh, he's been here. That's what you need, great stuff like that. Fantastic. 
Thousands and thousands and thousands of hours, so I know how to drive it really well. Let's have a look here what we're saying. Live chat. That's a problem with this YouTube, we can't see these live chats. Uh, Edward, how we doing? Uh, do you just do cattle and field work? And field work? Yeah, we do, Jake, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so we do a bit of arable. Not a lot, but like in the summer we do a lot of square baling, uh, just for ourselves. But um, but no, uh, yeah, in the summer we're very very busy with square baling. We have a bit a bit busy with our arable arable bit, but it doesn't take long to get ours done. Really, not with the machines that they have nowadays. Um, most of our times took up carting bales, as Emily will probably tell you. Um, she was doing. Uh, Helping us out last summer, at the end of summer, doing a bit of uh, bale stacking for us and things like that. Um, winding the straps up for me. Uh, so yeah, we keep busy with that. So where's everyone coming from today then? Where have we got people on from? I know the other day I had somebody on from Canada, I had somebody on from Dubai. And I had somebody on from Texas, in America. It just blows my mind. It does. So these cattle... Uh, so yeah, contractors can be a pain, yeah. But, um, no, to be honest, like, the ones that we work with are... Uh, South Wales, so look at this here. Just try and always rush. Ireland, yes, Matthew, you know. Sunny old Arrogate. Arrogate's nice. It's posh there, guys, you know. I've been there before. I've never had, like, a... I quite fancy doing a night out in Arrogate, actually. I don't know if they'd accept me up there, though. <laughs> All right, Tyler Paul from down in uh, South Wales there. Yeah, no, it's uh, what's uh, what's everyone's plans for today then? Apart from watching uh, watching my live, I think a bit later what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some wood for my log burner. So we've got all that. I don't know if people have seen, but I've got a big pile of wood um, that I cut down when we did some coppicing of some hedges. And um, yeah, I want to get that all tidied out way because if I don't chop it up now it'll end up getting left it'll end up getting busy and i'll not have time to do it and then it's it'll be in my way this is where I, at the minute is where i put my straw which isn't a problem right now but it'll soon be harvest guys i'll tell you that it'll soon be around the corner Having a look at field, see if I can see the cows in the field. I can't, so they must be right on the side. Either that or they've escaped. They won't have escaped. Right, let me check these comments, Gossip. Like I say, it's terrible for me. Staffordshire. Well, Will, that's where my dad's gone today. Going at work to work at one to mill. What's that then, Jake? Is that, um, are you milking like three times a day? Or is it like you start at one but milk at like four or so? Like, I'm no ex no expert. I don't claim to be an expert in anything apart from what I do. But um, yeah, milking. Uh, so milking, I'm not really fully up on it. Got my little niche that I know about, things that I do. So just fattening cattle, my GPS. If 
fact, that's what I could do. I could do a little video on my GPS today if I get time. That's the thing, I just don't have, you don't have time. Yeah, I really want to um, showcase that I go up with GPS. I don't know if uh, anybody saw my TikToks that I did recently, but um, start about half two. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Only twice hit that one. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, um, I don't think I could ever do dairy. There's just so much to know, isn't there? Um, for me to start it where I am now, like in my thirties, it's like um, yeah, it's a bit of a, be a bit of a learning curve. That sun is really bright this morning. So I'll just show you some more cattle. So I've, because I've took that long to feed up, some of them are already laid down. But with a fodder beat, they'll all start thinking about getting up. What you guys? That's what Andy's bedding up work done there. Done a fantastic job. So let me get this back on. Did it, did it? Yeah, so what's people want to know then? Are you liking? I love working on a dairy farm. Contract is great. To do contracting for a change. <laughs> uh, Edward, I just use a chainsaw. Um, yeah, yeah, just a chainsaw, mate. I ain't, you know, for the amount of stuff that I do. Um, it'd be nice to have a bench and what have you, but. Um, yeah, it's only to do a little log burn at all. It probably, the amount of logs that I've got, it might just be worth just hiring a log processor for a day and just blast through them, but. Um, Gives me something to do, doesn't it? It keeps me active. I love burning, I love burning stuff, I love burning. Where are we here? It's such a, such a pain getting these te uh, these messages up. Looking forward to my new tractor tomorrow. It might be tomorrow, William. I'm not sure. What day is it? What's the date tomorrow? I'm sure it's coming on like the first or the second it's all ready I've been told it's all ready ready to go um, so yeah I am looking forward to it really looking forward to it should be uh, should be nice I think Andy's looking forward to it more I think he thinks it's his tractor you know it, it probably is really 28th tomorrow. Ah, so it might not be here tomorrow. It might, might be Tuesday when it's coming. So you got a little sneak pre there. I wasn't going to tell people when exactly it's coming, but hey. First is Thursday? Nah, I'm sure it's coming before that. I'm sure it's coming before Thursday. That's what I was told anyway. So yeah, that'll be interesting, won't it? See how many of you got it right. A little comment, uh, comment thing I did the other day. Uh, yeah, yeah, it should be, it should be a nice tractor. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. Um, but yeah, so my dad's just gone to get some more cows today. Going into Staffordshire. So that should be good. It 
is Sunday. It is Sunday today, isn't it? First is Tuesday, Joe. That's it. Might be Tuesday then, maybe when it's coming. Maybe, maybe. So I don't know who's going to have the job of cleaning out 125, but I feel for him. Yes, it is mucky. But it should be a good catch for somebody. I think it's done 7,300 hours, something like that. Maybe a touch over. That. Ryan, my day is going fantastic, thank you. And uh, thanks everyone who's pressed that like button on, um, on this live so far. Thank you. Appreciate it. So. What's everyone's, what's happening with Ukraine at the minute? Anybody know that? I don't actually watch the news. I saw that, that, uh, that the president of Ukraine was actually a comedian. But I think he's doing a fairly good job, like uh, holding his country together by the sounds of it. Watching all the vlogs, I don't know if anybody watched that uh, yesterday. But he was saying why why the Russians have took over, took control of Chernobyl, the old nuclear power plant. And basically, like it's because it's a real large area of uh, tarmac, so you can park all your tanks on it, you can land planes on it, stuff like that. And it's strategically quite defensive because nobody will dare to blow up all your tanks and all your um, aircraft because you've got a nuclear reactor so close so you can pack all your stuff there and you know that like no western nation is going to try and uh, try and blow you to pieces uh, so Jake um, how long have I been doing it for I think I think I started in late November something like that so it's very, 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 very new to me, all this. Um, started on TikTok and uh, <laughs> the reason I started is because, well, my brother had done uh, a start of TikTok maybe like the year before. They'd done quite well, uh, done quite well with it. Uh, I thought at the time, I think he got like 4,000 followers or something. And, um, a few other people I'd noticed, like Ash had been on TikTok and he were using it quite a lot and Ash doesn't use any social media but he were, he were on TikTok, using TikTok and I saw that he'd put some videos up and stuff so I thought well, yeah it looks like it must be fun like and flicked, I started looking through and thought oh this looks quite fun like quite fun videos and stuff I thought, oh, I'll just do a few like for Ash and our Ben and what have you and um, see, see how they like it do some online like farming, see if anybody else would actually like it. Didn't expect anything to come of it. Um, and then next minute, it's like I'm getting three and four hundred followers a day, and it's yeah, it was just like going a bit out of control. So yeah. I, yeah, just, just, yeah, that's how it started. And then people, then a few people were like, oh, you should do YouTube, you should do YouTube. And um, I thought, well, uh, I don't really want to do it because TikTok's so easy to create a video and stuff like that. And then, like, I got this new phone and I, like, I'd look on YouTube at how to create videos and stuff. And people said, oh, just do use iMovie and do this, this, and this. So I thought, well, I'll give YouTube a try. Uh, and then, yeah, YouTube's been growing. Um, not as quick as TikTok, to be honest, but I think YouTube's like a different sort of thing. Um, but, uh, yeah, really, just like, enjoy, it's like, become, I didn't really have many hobbies, I suppose, like, um, I had like, passing hobbies, like, where motorbikes and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, like, I've, it's finding it quite enjoyable, making videos for people, and really surprised on the, um, on the positivity because I thought oh it's going to be quite a negative negative thing um, showing the farm and, and stuff like that but everything's been very very positive um, 
I know that we do a good job, but I know that farmers get bashed a lot in the media, so I just weren't really that sure on how things would go. But uh, yeah, I can't believe how it's gone really, really great. Um, Ryan, who's there today? Uh, at the minute, just me, mate. Um, Andy's gone home. He's been drawing up for me this morning, and um, my dad's gone out, and hopefully Mick and Ash will be coming sometime soon. Uh, uh, oh, what did you? Oh, did you see his video? Do I watch any other farmers on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, I watch um, watch Holly Blogs, uh, and I watch Tom Pemberton a little bit. Um, also watching. Uh, there's a guy called. Uh, Baldy's Farm. I think he's only got like a um, thousand subscribers or something like that. But um, he's very good at putting his point across. Um, I've, watched, I've watched a few of his. I've watched a few of Crawford's Farms. I've watched a few of The Funky Farmer. Um, Harry's Farm, yeah, he's good. Yeah, yeah, I like Harry's Farm. Yeah, he's very informative. Very informative. Uh, he's, yeah, yeah, he's good. I'm trying to think who else really. I, I watch I watch all a, a, a vast variety, a vast variety, should we say, uh, of different ones. They just keep popping up. Like, oh, I just see yeah, see what they're like. Uh, makes my day every time it pops up saying Josie and posting a new video on TikTok. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. See that make that like little comments like that. That just they just make it all worthwhile. You know what I mean? Like because. You know, if you have got followers like Holly Vlogs um, or Tom Pemberton or whatever, then um, it is like that is their income. You know what I mean? Like, not it, it, maybe not we Holly, but like it provides him with a really big income. Whereas um, with what I'm doing, it it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't pay it doesn't pay to to do what I do. I just really like doing it you know like it doesn't it doesn't pay me for my time to do it but um, I really do enjoy making the videos and if some at some point it does start paying then you know what I'll just spend it on that <laughs> like it's, it is just what I love farming is like my work Life, hobby, everything, mine. So, um, yeah. Some people think that's sad, but I think if you're a farmer, you sort of understand. Right. So I think, have I done everywhere now with this fun of me? I need like M sat aside of me, don't I? Just telling me if I've done. Pretty sure I have. But I will just go around the back and just make sure. I think I get, yeah, I get, yeah, I've done them all. Yeah, mind me, mind me thinking here. Uh, how much normally do you get for your cattle? Um, it just all depends, doesn't it? It's variety, really. Variety of prices. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It makes. It makes. Um, just making a video every now and then. Just breaks up the day because like sometimes like I'm just feeding for the beat out now like literally I do that every single day that like, that's that's it, it could become like mundane for some people but I love it but like if I'm doing like a video about it and stuff it just breaks it just breaks it up a bit and then I can go to Andy and I can go to him and just like a little bit of entertainment for us all just making them um let me just flick this off now so maybe I'll just go and show you Some of our tractors, because I might as well put a few tractors in this uh, in this live, aren't I? So that's a TM 320s. That's yeah, that's it. Like with farming, you the, the the money's not there in farming really to make it like a um, to make it like a, a thing that you do for the money really. But um, yeah, it's. Uh, 
it's a passion, isn't it? Right, so this is the 210 beast. Oh, no, I don't want to end it. Uh, this is a 210 beast. It's got a load of muck on inside for some reason. I do not know why. Um, this one's got AgOp and GPS on it. So that there is the um, wheel angle sensor, which is Land Rover suspension sensor. And this is like my my cheaper build, if you know what I mean, of AgOp and GPS. Then in the cab. You've got to have you've got to have your like iPad thing in here. It's not iPad. It's Windows. Um, it's Windows. La, uh, I uh, what do they call them now? You can call them like Surface Pro, or you can get mine's a Dell. I think it costs like hundred and forty quid or something. But then in this box here, we've got what have we got in here? Well, that's that that little blue thing's called an Arduino. I don't know if anybody's ever made like. Uh, any little projects at school like they use sort of things like that to like turn leds on and stuff so that's what runs everything they're about three or four quid and in there in underneath it i don't know if we can see now it's a bit scratched there's a board that goes off up to my antenna um little usb hub because the arduinos run on usb so i just plug all those into there and then that plugs into one usb plugs into the surface and then this is the bit that does the steering. Printed steering wheel, which I think I got somebody to do on Facebook. I think it was about, I can't remember if it was like 35 or 40 quid. If it's printed steering wheel, printed um, cog for this motor. I think that motor was probably one of the most expensive parts. It was like 100 quid, I think, for that. Um, but hey, in, in, in comparison to... Um, Anything else that you'd buy, it's dirt cheap. Uh, my dream job was always to be a farmer, and drive tracks on a farm, to live on a farm. There's a guy can't. Must... Could have asked him for a job, but once I passed my driving test, I come straight down to Doncaster. All right. Uh, yeah, we've got a mountain mountain of fodder beat to go through. Yeah, <laughs> it is slowly going down, but not not as fast as I was uh, expecting. Really, I don't think my dad's been um, feeding quite as much as me. Um, so anyway, yeah. If uh, what, what else we've got to tell you about this? I go up and GPS. So I'll show you the antenna on the dusty roof. That's the antenna for it. Yeah, you think of the big green star domes and everything. That's a, that's a tiny antenna because most of the stuff that's in the dome I've fetched into the tractor. So I suppose all this stuff really you could put outside the tractor. But uh, what's the point in that when you can just put it inside and keep it dry? Um, so yeah. And that's RTK, two centimeter accuracy. So like within what two centimeters that nothing is it like that's probably two centimeters on mud guard <laughs> and it will keep driving it to infinity and beyond um yeah like that um what somebody said uh live chat that GPS is class. Unlike them big wheels, you can get more clean and not so robust. Yeah, it's um, it's good. And, and you know, if something breaks on it, it's like, um, if, if that gear broke, so you just got to get another one printed. I mean, if you had your own 3D printer, which not many people have, uh, I mean, they're not expensive now, but I, I, I could have got one. But I thought, well, what's the point? There ain't no point in that. Um, I might as well just get somebody to make it for me hey do people do people know what we've done here we're going to 7530 now do people know what all that's about can anybody guess yeah this is a weapon 
She's mucky, I know, but everything gets mucky here. You clean it, it just gets mucky straight away. But I'm sure there's a lot of fans of the 7530. Sounds like an absolute weapon. Because, hey, it is. And yeah, I know, I know, I need some new front tyres for it, but... Um, like I was saying to somebody the other day, it just does road work and stuff around the yard um, very rarely. Like, if we're harvesting maize, we'll just... Um, we get we get contractors in to pull them out of the field with a big flotation tires and stuff, so we don't even there's no chance of us getting stuck. Right, let me have a look. Somebody just commented. Uh, on your New Holland, it's all on the armrest screen. Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, um, having it in your tractor can be great. Uh, having it like as a standard thing but it just costs that much and for us we've just been a small arable farmer we can't justify the cost of um going to gps let alone rtk i mean with with that with the ago open gps there's no subscription fees so you don't pay anything like i've put a on the end of the house i don't know if we can see it here can you see that white thing right on the apex of the roof there? That's just above that is another one of those, um, another one of those uh, aerials. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> and um, yeah, that that cost me another 200 quid. But now I've got RTK for life. No, no paying a subscription fee here and there. Uh, a 500 quid a year. It's all done. So um, yeah, and the great thing with having the tablet in the cab is um we can just i can watch youtube <laughs> so it's just a lot it's having a laptop in your cab you can watch youtube you can um do whatever you like really and the 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 gps can just work in the background so how we doing fella hey how we doing so these guys pretty young um pretty recently we got them just on silage and fodder beet and a bit of barley. Good clean and a nice <laughs> Yeah, no. It does need, a, I'll agree with you there, it does need a good clean. Um, so yeah, it's all about uh, keeping stuff, keeping stuff clean, I suppose, but it's just difficult, isn't it? So yeah, Andy strawed them up this morning. Let's have a look. Just have a little check round them all. Make sure everyone's okay. Yeah, we all right? There's a few skinny minis in here. But they'll start putting weight on soon. Hello, mate. Don't have a look. You bothered? Hey. So yeah, what do, do people want to see more of the cattle, or is it like machinery that people are mostly interested in? Yeah, they're um, they're looking pretty decent. These guys. I think for age of them, some of these have been a bit uh, not being fed to hard them. Might have had a little bit of an hard life before they came here. Got some more here. Let's make sure everything's all right in here. Let's just flip this back around then. Now I'll read some of these comments. Is Angus my favourite breed? Yes. Because they're really, really great to work with. Um, and the general public know all about Aberdeen Angus and the quality that it represents. 
Um, so it means that for the same cattle you get premium on. I mean, we've got to pay premium to buy them as well. Like, don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, there's, there's just that premium there. Uh, that's, uh, Mr. Ashton. Um, I, I don't know. I wouldn't know without um, without knowing what your herd number was or something like that. Um, so I'd have to uh, I'd have to have a look, see how they'd done. My dad was moaning because he wanted more than two pound. Look, well, sometimes it's uh, he must have thought that they were a bit of an expensive price. <laughs> Um, not fussy, I like watching everything. I watch a few farming videos, they are interesting. Good, yeah, yeah, keep watching them. Are you a farmer yourself, Edward? Do I only have steers? Um, no, no, we do have some effers, but um, we tend to buy bullocks really if we can, um, just because that's what we tend to like to fatten. Um, uh, how many tractors have you got? So I've got four tractors, four tractors and two telehandlers. Um, are your Angus pure? Are not still they're looking great condition? No, no, they're not pure Angus. No, 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 no. You might have odd one that's a pure Angus, but um, to be sold as Angus meat, that one of the parents has to be. Well, no, not one of the parents. The father has to be an Angus. It has to be a registered Angus bull. So they could be like crossed with um, limmies. They could be crossed with um, a lot of them crossed with dairy cattle, to be honest. Um, Jersey crosses, um, Charolais crosses. Buy a lot. Of, we buy a lot of supple bred Angus as well. Have I ever liked any other make of tractors other than John Deere's? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, we used to have a, a New Holland TM100 TS100, I think it was. Um, John, I don't, I don't say how many cattle we've got. It's not really, it's not my thing um, in promoting this channel to, to talk about what I've got and what I've not got. It's like to sort of promote farming and uh, promote it to a younger generation get people involved more in farming um more more people going into a career in farming seeing it as a career rather than just a, an easy option sort of thing um yeah i want to get like quality people into farming basically they maybe might have thought it's it's not a career choice that they'd think of um well i want them to start thinking about it <laughs> so yeah i'm not one for like saying oh look at me i've got this and i've got this many cattle and i've got that many acres and stuff so i don't think it really helps to it but maybe one day i mean i spoke to tom pemberton and he's like ah, oh, just tell him it's fine but uh, i'm not yeah maybe one day maybe one day guys <laughs> where did that fent 314 go so that was on demo mark uh, but I'm getting a new track to come in. Uh, I'm guessing on Tuesday because we've, we've just been working it out on live. We think it's going to be on Tuesday. Um, so we'll see what that see what that tractor is, won't we? Cross Pure Grace Angus to the Ayrshire. Yeah. They are lovely cards. Thank you. YouTube video for today on what I'm doing today later on in the day you know what I mean and um, yeah so stick around and wait for that later and I'm sure this one if people are watching this because um, I'll post this live up if people are watching this later then um, yeah just have a look at my other videos some nice machinery stuff on there and uh, some stuff about cattle but uh, yeah thanks for tuning in guys lovely speaking to you all